Welcome back to our Women's Cozy Talk. This is a special exclusive show series available at the Spiritual Counseling TV Network. My name is Christy Ramirez and I am a soul coach and I also specialize in women's issues. So today we are here gathered for another episode of the Women's Cozy Talk. You can also check out my Women Empowerment Forum, which is another show series that focuses more on women's history. You can go to christianmerz.com slash woman. So let's get started with today's episode. Today's episode six is going to focus on women entrepreneurs. I am dressed the part today. And I want to represent today all the women out there in the world who either A, are entrepreneurs, are CEOs, are a leader of some kind in their field, or B, women who aspire to be a leader sometime in their future. This is important because I know that the struggle is still real for a lot of women in society, especially in a society that is men-ruled, but again, what we also learned in the women's history topics in my Women Empowerment Forum show series is that that's a thing of the past, right? We're not living in a modern society where it's normal to see a woman on top, you can say, right? To see a woman in her power, in leadership, and it's seen as normal. But I also think that there is two sides to that coin, which is what we're also going to bring to today's topic, right? Taking to the extreme, right? Taking this leadership quality home, for example, to your family, to your relationships, where that's not necessarily called for, right? As mothers, as wives, as women in our home, there is a, a huge and slight difference at the same time between the role that you play in business and the role that you play in family. And that's what I want to bring into today's episode as well as the classic themes of, you know, how to reach the top, how to climb this ladder of success as a woman in the field in competition with men around you, maybe in the same field doing the same thing that you love to do. And, you know, when you're at that, like, pinnacle top, a lot of the times, you know, people in power, they have that choice to choose between the woman or the man, and they might both have the same amount of qualities, and that's where the true nature of this topic comes out, right, of sexism to a certain extent. And of course, we see this in politics, you know, it's still yet to be cleared up 100%, because there's still that doubt by the majority, by the collective, by the world, and it's very sad to see because a lot of the times the woman is the one that can have the most experience or she can be the better one with the greater skill and talent and who's harnessed it in the most efficient way as well and effective for that matter because you know when whether you're a man or a woman when you have a talent or a skill and you already kind of like feel that you've done enough that you can, you've learned enough, there's no room for improvement, then that's when they stop growing. It's the hungry ones that continue to learn, continue to put past their comfort zone effort, 110 plus percent, and those are the ones who grow even exponentially, way beyond their limitations and perceived potential, because they have yet to discover what they're made of. And that's what we're going to learn today in today's episode, women entrepreneurs or aspiring women entrepreneurs and how we can, first of all, deal with this representation in society and then how we can also achieve balance in our personal life if you are an entrepreneur. So I hope to see you all here. Go to christianmerz.com slash woman to get access to this entire full episode as well as all the other previous episodes. So educative, so intuitive, but also very, very insightful. That is going to help you women out there, especially these are topics that are not really talked about in the media. And the way that I present it is just different. And I hope that you really will benefit and enjoy this episode. Namaste.